The Pony Express was an American Express mail service that used relays of horse-mounted riders that operated from April 3, 1860 to October 26, 1861 between Missouri and California. During its 18 months of operation, the Pony Express reduced the time for messages to travel between the east and west U.S. coast to about 10 days. It became the West's most direct means of East-West communication before the first transcontinental telegraph was established and was vital for tying the new U.S. state of California with the rest of the United States. The idea of having a fast mail route to the Pacific Coast was prompted largely by California's newfound prominence and its rapidly growing population. After gold was discovered there in 1848, thousands of prospectors, investors, and businessmen made their way to California, at that time a new territory of the U.S. By 1850, California entered the Union as a free state, and by 1860, the population had grown to 380,000. The demand for a faster way to get the mail and other communications to and from this westernmost state became even greater as the American Civil War approached. William Russell, Alexander Majors, and William B. Waddell were the three founders of the Pony Express. The partnership was a perfect merger since they were already in the freighting and dredge business. By using a short route and mounted riders rather than traditional stagecoaches, they proposed to establish a fast mail service between St. Joseph, Missouri and Sacramento, California, with letters delivered in 10 days, which many said was impossible. The initial price was set at $5 per half ounce, then $2.50, and by July 1861 to $1. The initial price was 25,000% higher than the price of mail through the normal mail service, which was two cents. The founders of the Pony Express hoped to win an exclusive government mail contract that would secure the Pony Express's future. Russell, Majors, and Waddell organized and put together the Pony Express in two months in the winter of 1860. The undertaking assembled 80 riders, 184 stations, 400 horses, and several hundred personnel during January and February of 1861. The horses Major selected were from around the West, and he paid an average of about $200 per horse. These horses averaged about 14.2 hands, or 58 inches high, and 900 pounds each. Thus, the name Pony was appropriate, even if not strictly correct in all cases. In 1860, the roughly 184 Pony Express stations were about 10 miles apart along the Pony Express route. At each station, the express rider would change to a fresh horse, taking only the mail pouch called a mochila, from the Spanish for pouch or backpack, with him. The employers stressed the importance of the mochila. They often said that if it came to be, the horse and rider should perish before the mochila did. The mochila was thrown over the saddle and held in place by the weight of the rider sitting on it, and each corner had a cantina or pocket. Bundles of mail were placed in these cantinas, which were padlocked for safety. The mochila could hold 20 pounds of mail along with the 20 pounds of material carried on the horse. Eventually, everything except one revolver and one water sack was removed, allowing for a total of 165 pounds on the horse's back. Riders who could not weigh over 125 pounds changed about every 75 to 100 miles and rode day and night. In emergencies, a given rider might ride two stages back to back over 20 hours on a quickly moving horse. The riders were very well compensated and received about $100 to $125 a month as pay. As a comparison, the wage for unskilled labor at the time was about 43 cents to $1 per day and for semi-skilled laborers like bricklayers and carpenters was usually less than $2 per day. The route began in St. Joseph, Missouri. The approximately 1,900-mile-long route roughly followed the Oregon and California trails to Fort Bridger, Wyoming, and then to the Mormon Trail to Salt Lake City, Utah. From Salt Lake, it followed the Central Nevada route to Carson City, Nevada Territory, before passing over the Sierra and reaching Sacramento, California. During his route of 80 to 100 miles, the Pony Express rider would change horses 8 to 10 times. The horses were ridden at a fast trot, canter, or gallop, around 10 to 15 miles per hour, and at times they were driven to full gallop at speeds up to 25 miles per hour. Famous riders for the Pony Express included Robert Haslam, Jack Keatley, Billy Tate, and Major Howard Egan. But perhaps the most famous Pony Express rider was William Cody, better known as Buffalo Bill. 
At around the age of 15, Cody was on his way west to California when he met Pony Express agents along the way and signed with the company. After some months, he was transferred to Slade's division in Wyoming, where he is said to have made the longest nonstop ride from Red Butte Station to Rocky Ridge Station and back when he found that his relief rider had been killed. This trail of 322 miles was completed in 21 hours and 40 minutes and required 21 horses. During its brief time in operation, the Pony Express delivered about 35,000 letters between St. Joseph and Sacramento. Incredibly, only once did a delivery fail to reach its destination. Despite the fact that the Pony Express was not a financial success, it demonstrated that a unified transcontinental system of communications could be established and operated year-round. When replaced by the telegraph, the Pony Express quickly became romanticized and became part of the lore of the American West. Its reliance on the ability and endurance of individual young hardy riders and fast horses was seen as evidence of rugged American individualism and toughness of the frontier times, securing the Pony Express's place as a legend of the West. Thank you for watching. Please comment your thoughts below, like and share this video, and subscribe for more inspiring stories of the West.